In this video, we're going to look at cutting parts into multiple pieces to simplify printing. Click on Project, Import CAD file, and browse the location of the for bracket for XT file. Once the part is loaded in, you can use the slider to simply drag the cutting plane along Z or along X or along Y. In this case, we're going to cut along Z and we're going to cut at a depth of 4.5 millimeters. When you're happy with the position of the cut plane, click the free cut icon and then say cut the part in Z and cut. The part has now been cut into two separate pieces, each of which can be printed and handled independently. Undo the cut and now we're going to look at the free cut tool set. This allows us to cut apart, for example, using a polygon. You can move points on the polygon independently or add new parts and also move those. Note that the cut polygon is projected along the current view axis. So if we execute that cut now, we will cut the part according to that polygon, but as it was drawn in the view. So instead, we're going to work in a known axis. Again, undo the cut, go to free cut, and in this case, for example, draw a simple circle. Executing that cut, we'll cut a circular portion from the middle of the part. Again, undo. Back into free cut. In this case, we're going to do something a bit more realistic. Draw a rectangle by sketching four points. and then add dovetail joints into the curve. Set the count to four. Set the size of the cut that you wish. For example, four for the height, three for the base, and four for the upper width, and then OK. You can change the size of the cut interactively or move individual dovetails by dragging the red square at their origin. Execute the cut and we now have two pieces that can be printed independently but that are easy to join together.